Hi, I'm Daniel McKinley, and I'm here at Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And I'm going to show you the two to four player game, Firefly, based on the hit TV series. So in Firefly the game, you will be taking on one of the four ships, four main ships of the series. Of course, everybody will want to be Serenity. At the start of the game, you will pick one of your captains, like Malcolm here. And each of the captains have a set of criteria. You have guns, talking, and one more mechanics. In the game, you'll be playing as these characters, flying around the galaxy, picking up more crew, getting jobs from all of the different characters in the series, and performing those jobs to upgrade your ship and get money. Here's a basic overview of the ship. As you can see, it has two parts and six fuel. This is the starting, and you'll always have a basic engine, which is the drive core. Later on, you will be able to upgrade it. But the number five here, the range, that's important for movement later on. As you play as the characters, you'll be able to get upgrades from your ship. You will be able to load items into your, into your cargo hold, like contraband or cargo. And you'll also be able to bring passengers or even fugitives, shown by these tokens. As you continue traveling to the different areas, like Persephone, Regina, Osiris, Silverhold, or the Space Bazaar, you will be able to get more people to work on your ship. You have generic characters like a gun hand, or you have others like Shepard or Simon. It has all of the major characters in the series. You can also give them weapons, like a knife, or you can get other items that will help out your ship. Now let's move on to the board. So here is the board for Firefly. As you can see, it takes up quite a bit of table space, but the game is very immersive. On the turn, or on your turn, you will be able to do two of four different things. You'll be able to move, which is really simple. It is just moving from one space to another if you're moseying along, or you can burn fuel from your board and move up to the number of spaces equal to the range that's on your drive core. Everyone starts with a range of five, but you can upgrade that later on. As you can see, we have the Alliance space in the middle, and we have the Alliance cruise ship that can move around the board in the Alliance space. We also have the outer area, or the border space, which we have the Reaver that will be traveling along as well. When you're moving along and you're moseying, one space will count as one of your actions. However, if you decide to burn fuel and move multiple spaces, each time you will have to flip over one of these cards. If you are flying in the Alliance space, you'll flip over an Alliance space card. If you're, flipping, if you're flying through a border space, you'll flip over a border space card. Each of these have different things. Most often it'll just say keep going. However, sometimes you may have an Alliance ship come check you or you might even have as bad as the Reaver. If the Reaver comes and gets you, bad things happen. Alliance normally leave you alone as long as you're not carrying contraband or fugitives. However, if you are, then they might confiscate them and add a warrant to you. If you have a warrant, a lot of times your crew members might get disgruntled or you might not be solid with some of the other contacts. So let's talk about the next part of it. That's working a job. You have five of the main characters in the base game. You have Harkin, Niska, Patience, Anamdul, and Badger. Based on their characters, they will issue you jobs that have different sets of moral. Harkin always has legal jobs, where Niska are always illegal. Now, legal and illegal jobs, you will take on any jobs that pay money. Generally speaking, the illegal jobs are more profitable to you. As you can see here, this legal job pays 1200 where this illegal job will pay 2200 However, this job may disgruntle some of your workers, and it might be harder to complete. So after you've accepted jobs from the area, if I go to the Alliance space or if I go to here for patients and I accept a job from her, I will have to complete the job in order to get paid. Now, when you get paid, that means that you have done the criteria on the job and you have gone to the location, if there is any, to complete it. Once you have completed the job, you become solid with that contact 
and you get an added bonus based on which contact it is. So let's look at an actual card itself and how you get paid. In this job, I would travel to the first area, Osiris, White Sun, and I'll load two cargo. And once I get it to harvest the red in the Red Sun region and deliver that two cargo, I get paid. Now remember how the the workers as well as your captain have some of these symbols on it? This is the requirement you need to complete the job. If I have two mechanics, I can complete this job, and once I'm completed with it, I get a I get paid twelve hundred dollars. Now you also do have to pay your workers as well. Once you have become solid, you might meet the criteria. The goal of the game depends on the scenario you pick. In the base game, it comes with about six scenarios. and this one, you have three goals. This is the starting scenario that, that it encourages you to play with. The first goal is making friends, where you become solid with two contacts. Then, seeing daylight, you have to get $6,000 by completing jobs. Then finally, goal number three, feeding the shark, where you pay the loan shark for your ship by going to Ezra. The first player to do this by completing all of their goals will win the game. One more thing that I would like to show you is how you complete a job. Oftentimes you'll have to take items, contraband, fugitives, passengers, etc. from one location and deliver it to another. But sometimes you might have to misbehave. If it's an illegal job, you might have to misbehave. This, like other cards, sometimes with the travel cards, will have two different options and will give you options based on which kind of or which kind of characters you play with. This one you can use either a mechanic or a fighter. You will roll one of the dice and then you will follow the results on here. This, if you rig a bypass, you might be able to proceed without it having a problem. This will count as one of the misbehaves. However, you could have the other option, but you, if you roll a one to six, then you will have a warrant issued. After you do all those, sometimes when you roll the dice, you may need to roll it. And if you roll a firefly symbol on the six, you get six plus an additional roll. So I would have six plus a three and have a total of nine. So that's enough of the overview of the game. You will complete these jobs based on the scenario and the player who completes all of the goals of the scenario will win the game of Firefly. So that's how you play Firefly the board game. It can take about one to three hours depending on the scenario you play but it is rich in theme as you fly around the galaxy avoiding the Reavers and sometimes the Alliance. So if you'd like to come check it out Come to Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico and come give it a try.